Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral uh, AMNC that consists of uh, this uh, rectangle uh, CNFT and this uh, another rectangle uh, DFMB, this uh, trapezoid uh, EDBA, and finally this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, CDE. As you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, bigger rectangle is 476 centimeter square. The area of this uh, smaller rectangle is 119 centimeter square. And finally, the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, has been given to us as 76.5 centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle CDE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and we are going to consider these uh, two rectangles. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, bigger rectangle as a yellow rectangle whereas this smaller rectangle as the blue one. And now we are going to compare these two rectangles, the yellow one and the blue one. And let's make an observation. We can see this uh, length of this uh, rectangle is same as the length of this uh, rectangle as well. And the area ratio of these uh, two rectangles is going to be 476 uh, to 119. So therefore we can write down uh, 476 uh, to 119 and if we reduce both of them they can be reduced to 4 ratio 1. So therefore uh, their area ratio is going to be 4 to 1. So therefore we conclude uh, that if this uh, side length uh, is going to be 4 times some constant uh, k, then this uh, side uh, is going to be 1 times some constant k as well. So therefore we can write uh, k and uh, 4k side lengths. And here's our next step. We are going to consider these two right triangles. This uh, bigger right triangle uh, ABC. And this uh, smaller right triangle, the green shaded uh, CDE. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, angle uh, is going to be congruent to this uh, angle since they are our uh, corresponding angles. And moreover, this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is uh, 90 degrees as well. So therefore, we conclude that these two right triangles, uh, the triangle uh, CDE, and this uh, other triangle ABC are our uh, similar triangles according to angle-angle uh, similarity theorem. And now let's make an observation. We can see the side uh, length uh, of this uh, green uh, triangle CDE is uh, 4 times k. And the side length uh, of this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC is going to be 4k plus 1k is going to make it uh, 5 times uh, k. So therefore uh, the ratio between both of these uh, triangles is going to be 4k and uh, 5k. And since uh, both of these uh, triangles are similar, if I label uh, this uh, side of this uh, green uh, triangle as uh, 4 times some constant uh, t, then uh, this uh, side length of this bigger uh, triangle is going to be 5 times uh, some constant t as well. And now let's focus on this uh, trapezoid ABDE. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area is always equal to height uh, H uh, times the sum of these two bases uh, A and B all over 2. And in our case, uh, the height of this uh, trapezoid ABDE is uh, K and uh, two other bases are 4T and uh, 5T. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, trapezoid has been given to us uh, 
as uh, 76.5 uh, centimeter square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area of this trapezoid uh, has been given to us as uh, 76.5 equal to our height uh, is uh, k times our both bases are uh, 40 plus uh, 5 t all over 2 now let's focus uh, on this uh, 76.5 this could be written as uh, 153 divided by 2 it doesn't make any difference whatsoever and likewise uh, 40 plus 5t is going to give us uh, 9 times t so therefore this equation is going to become 153 divided by 2 equals to k times uh, 9 uh, t divided by 2 and we can see this 2 and 2 is gone from the denominators and now we can see this uh, right hand side numerator that is going to give us uh, 9 times uh, k t equals to 153 and now we are going to divide both sides by 9 so this uh, 9 and 9 is gone so therefore our k times t value turns out to be equal to 17 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, green uh, shaded uh, triangle uh, cde and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle cde and I'm going to label the area of this green shaded triangle as uh, uppercase A. And now we are going to find the value of this uh, area A. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base uh, times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, green shaded triangle is uh, 4 times T. The height of this triangle is uh, 4 times K and the area is uh, being labeled as uh, uppercase A. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of the triangle is A equals to a half uh, times uh, the base of this triangle is uh, 4 times uh, T times the height is uh, 4 times K. And if we multiply and simplify the right hand side uh, a area is going to be equal to 8 times k t and we know our k times t value is 17 so i'm going to substitute that value 17 over here so therefore the area of this green shaded triangle is going to be 8 times 17 is going to give us 136 centimeter square so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 136 centimeter square in other words uh, the area of this uh, green shaded triangle is 136 uh, centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye